Hello again, my friends. I have one story to read to you today and it's kind of a little bit longer. So it's just one book and it is called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. And our kind folks at Harper Collins Publishers have given us permission to show and read this to you today. So thank you, Harper Collins. Oh, this is a picture of Shel Silverstein. And Bethy's not what you had pictured when I said his name the first time, huh? The Giving Tree. I want you to look really closely at the pictures. There's not many words on the page, but the pictures have some details in that you'll need to see. Once there was a tree And she loved a little boy. Look, there's his foot. And every day, the boy would come. He looks excited to come to the tree, doesn't he? And he would gather up her leaves. and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. Wasn't that nice of the tree to share her leaves with the boy? He would climb up her trunk. Do you see him? And there's his feet and there's his hands climbing up the trunk. There's his shoes. And swing from her branches. We see just his legs sticking out. Oh, he's having so much fun with that tree. And eat apples. Do you see any apples? There's apple cores falling to the ground. Where do you think the boy is? Yeah, he's up there eating the apples. The tree shared her apples with the boy. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. You see, he's given her a big hug. Very much. And the tree was happy. The little boy looks pretty happy too. But time went by. How much time do you think went by? Do you see he's not too much of a little boy anymore? So that's a few years. And the boy grew older. Do you see the boy? Do you see some legs? Yeah, there's two sets of legs. He must have a friend with him. And the tree was often alone. I guess the boy has some other interests, huh? Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing on my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. Oh, I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? Oh, I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. Why is the tree happy? because she was giving, huh? But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day, the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. Oh my goodness, he really did grow up, didn't he? Oh, I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? 
I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered, come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. But you didn't even recognize him anymore, did you? I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk. That's what's left of the tree. And made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. Oh, I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, said the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. And I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. That tree just gave everything that she had to the boy, didn't she? And what did the tree keep, what did the book keep saying? How did the tree feel each time she gave something away? She was happy. Yeah, that's kind of a strange thing that happens when we give stuff away. It can make us happy. Maybe you have something that you don't need anymore and you could give it to somebody and then you can experience what the tree did and you can feel happy about it too. And when we give something to somebody, it's pleasing Jesus because Jesus wants us to care for others and to share what we have. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your great sacrifice of giving yourself on the cross for our sins. Jesus, we can't do that, but we can share our things. We can give things away that we no longer need. Maybe we've outgrown some clothes that we could give to somebody or outgrown some toys that we could give to somebody younger. Help us to know what to give. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray this. Amen. Okay, friends. Till next time. See ya. Bye.